Hey all Rust Zero Revered TV, welcome! We are heading on AZ-95, I'm just entering the little community of uh, Parker Dam, following along the Colorado River. Just left that Bill Williams uh, Visitor Center. Wasn't that a pretty, pretty place? Right there on the right, see it? There's Colorado. Straight across California. And look at these mountains. I never get tired of driving through here. Ever, ever. Look at these uh, houses here. I think they're more like condos. They're multi-unit. But you park right on the highway. You pay the price. Then up here on the left, look at this. Look at the view they have. Now there is an RV park. There ain't a whole lot here. Business-wise. But right up here on the left, there's an RV park, and I believe it's like a co-op, where you actually own your lot. Right here on the left. I forget the name of it. Right there's the entrance where that white truck is pulled in. Anyway, you can go back in there. they got quite a few lots. This is a very popular area. Very pretty. Very scenic. Alright, uh, first we're going to go through the River Island. Hey, look at that guy selling fruit. River Island, right up the road here. We'll do a quick drive through that one. And then we're going to go down and check out Buckskin, too. Now, Buckskin, I did a video on a couple years ago. Really pretty place. But this is kind of like that Cattail Cove State Park. They all got their restrictions, like 14 days. You got to leave for 14, then you can come back. I think their pricing is pretty much all the same. Right here it is. River Island. Yay. All right, let's pull down in. See if they'll let me drive through. This one, you're a lot closer to the highway compared to like that Cattail Cove. It's a little more congestion. All right, let me pull up here. See if they'll let me drive through. And I shall return. that go through just don't get out of the truck bam it's fine I'm just gonna do a quick loop there's a rig leaving I mean nice sight everything's paved looks like full hookup pretty good river should be right up here this is the first time I've driven in here I've driven past here <laughs> Blue picnic tables. Okay, I see a dumpster. Aha, here's our restrooms. But your little ways. Let's look here. Your little ways from the water here. It's not like the other ones. Matter of fact, I don't even see a boat launch here. Uh huh. Okay, well. Let's head on down to Buckskin. I know that one has the boat launch. There's a little store in there and everything. But if you're looking for a place, you want to. You are close to the water. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Look at the big rock mountain there. Alright, well, let's head on out. Looks like a big day use area right off to the right. Cool. Buckskin's just a mile or so down the road. It's not very far at all. Maybe a couple miles. Beautiful sunny day. Very mild temperatures. Probably in the 70s today. Evenings are still cooling off in the like high fifth or low 50s, excuse me, mid 50s. It's perfect. You can open your windows, sleep at night. Look at the mountains. Oh, 
Okay, right up here there's like a little mini mart and gas station so you can get supplies, ice, propane. Probably got a few food items in there. Now to the right, that's a resort, private resort. Hey, they got pizza there. They got the RVs for sale. Huh. Okay, just right up here. Not too far will be Buckskin State Park. Water's nice and calm, not much wind. I'll fly the drone from the road down here. Alright, Buckskin. Yeah, I did that video a couple years ago. It, this is probably the most popular one, this one here, I think. I sure like that Cattail Cove uh, part. Of course, that was a little farther up, and that's a lot more by itself, a lot more isolated. But you're closer to Havasu up that direction. Here, you're much closer to Parker, Arizona. All right, here we go. Make a right. You wind right down to the water. Oh, look, they closed that road again. They got rock slides off those cliffs. They keep closing that road. That's a frontage road that'll take you all the way down to like uh, La Paz County Park and some of the other resorts. They closed it again. Hey, there's a picnic table. There's a Colorado, the mighty Colorado. All right, let me get pulled up here. See if I can drive through. Most times you can. I'll be back. Very nice lady. Said drive on through. Give me a little pamphlet. We'll just do a quick drive around. Then I'll go back up to the road. We'll fly the drone from the road. Get a better view. Now this is a big place. They got a lot of sites in here. You can also tent camp here. There's a boat launch. Let's go up this way. Got shade trees. But state of Arizona, I mean, for along the river, they do it right. It's not cheap. It's 30, 30 to 40 a night. And you got your limited to 14 day. Okay, it looks like showers, restrooms there. A lot of green grass, look at that. Grass in the desert. Well, somewhere they used to have like a little market. You could buy ice. Maybe that's it there on the right. That big motor home, he's all nestled in right there. There's a van with a boat. Pretty plush. All these places take reservations and I highly recommend a reservation. These are harder to get into when it gets into the season. Okay, now straight across, there's that Echo Lodge over there. That's where I stayed. I filmed that when we went up the Parker Dam Road a week or so ago. Okay, more restrooms. I think these are their tent sites down through here. So why not? You come down, got a family or something, pitch a tent. Enjoy the river. Got plenty of showers and restrooms. Alrighty, well, pretty much that's it. That's Buckskin. They got a boat launch, picnic areas, tent camping, and RV sites. Not bad. Up 
up here. I think, yep. They got a little store up here too. Maybe they moved it from the other side. What's it say? Park store. There it is. Ice cream. Ice. Nice. Very pretty place. All right. Let's get out of the park. We'll go up where that road close sign was and I'll launch a drone. That way we'll get a shot of the whole river from up there. And that was very nice of them to let me drive through. Thank you. There's that lone picnic table. <laughs> All by its lonesome. Nowhere to park. You'd have to walk out and do it. Okay, right up here is the highway, but I'm going to... Let's see what I need to do. I'm going to back in here. Because I got it closed. Road closed. We get turned around, get parked, and we'll launch a drone. Look at that. Uh, see right there, there's uh, Echo Lodge. I stayed directly across there. I had my trailer backed right in there. You were that close to the water. And look all the park models they have. There's the dunes. There's the sand dunes we filmed a week ago. Red Cliffs. Okay, swing around. There's that big bend way off. And right here is Buckskin. Look at it. You can see we just drove through there. Isn't that pretty? And swing around. Now look at this bridge that goes across the highway. There's a hiking trail. So they got a pedestrian bridge to see the trails. And you can hike way back in there. A lot of people love it, like the hiking. And look at the breathtaking views. You can see the trails going up there quite a ways. Swing back around. That's looking off towards Parker. And the beautiful Colorado River. Mm -mm. Nice. That's where they have the rock slide, right up, right there in that shadowed area where the rocks keep falling down. That's why they close this road. Look how you can see right down in the water. The water's that clear right now. And there you go. There's River Island State Park and Buckskin. So we covered Cattail Cove, River Island, and Buckskin. One of these days up in, ha the uh, fourth one is Havistu State Park. And that's right in the town up there. We'll do that a different day, some other time. Alrighty. Alrighty, away we go. Cut over here to the highway, which is AZ-95. Gonna head towards Parker. I hope that answers the questions. I've had a lot of questions about these state parks. Because I drive by them all the time. I'll mention them, but never stop. So now you know. Now you know what is, how they are. Once again, they are all 14 day. But you only have to leave for 14 and you can come back. So actually you could do the whole loop if you did all three. Just keep going. <laughs> Make sure you have your reservations. 
And where else in the world are you going to near the end of November? No snow, no cold, t-shirts, shorts. Huh? Where else are you going to enjoy this kind of weather? It'll get a little chillier around December and January, but not much. A little rainy, too. Matter of fact, there is some rain coming in a couple of days. Desert really needs it. Settled with dust. All right, up and coming. Going to head back down uh, towards uh, Quartzite. Do some de desert filming. Maybe up around Havasu. London Bridge uh, swap meet up there is going now. Those are happens on Sunday. Might be checking that out as well. And whatever else I can get into. All right, talk soon.